Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm back with another interesting and more complex scenario of Apex Trigger series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's understand today's scenario. We have a custom field on account object named total OPP amount in which we are going to store total amount of all related opportunities of an account. Whenever we insert, update, delete or undelete any opportunity record on that account, we need to update total OPP amount field with sum of amount of all opportunities present on it. Now let's create a trigger named sum of OPP amount. Again, I have same question. On which object we should write this trigger? On account or on opportunity? So here we need to see that because of which object our trigger will be executed. In this scenario, whenever we insert, delete or undelete an opportunity record or whenever we update amount of an opportunity record, our trigger will be executed. Then the field in which we are storing some of opportunity which is on account object will be updated automatically. So here change is happening on opportunity object and our account record is updating automatically by trigger. So our trigger will be on opportunity object because opportunity object is the source or key we can say which is triggering or starting our trigger. So our trigger will be on opportunity object. Now again let's come to events. We have two options before and after. So there is a simple logic. We have two objects here and we are updating one object by the value of another. So in this type of scenario, we should always choose after trigger. So we will use after event. After update. After delete. After undelete. Now we need to update field on parent account of opportunity record. That's why we need to fetch parent account ID of opportunity whenever we insert, update, delete or undelete it. And we need to store it in a set. For that let's create a set. Now let's fetch account id on insert and undelete operation first. For that we have to do like this is insert and here we will use undelete. We have used both insert and undelete together because undelete is like an insert operation. Before undelete operation, the record does not exist in your database. So we can have only trigger.new in insert and undelete. Let's apply a null check over trigger.new and iterate over it. Trigger new let's apply a null check on account id also not equals to null then it then it will get stored in this set now this code will be executed only on after insert and after and delete operation We will do same thing for update operation also. Is update, but there is a twist in update operation. See, the important thing is that whenever we change or update parent account of an opportunity record, we need to fetch ID of both new parent account and old parent account because we need to update sum of total opportunity amount on both accounts. But how we are going to do it? For that, we will use trigger.oldmap here. But before that, let's apply a null check over trigger.new and iterate over it. Now, 
Now let's compare ID of new parent account and old parent account. And after that, we will add both IDs in our set. Let's compare ID. This is our new parent account ID. And for old parent account ID, we will do like this. And after that, we will add both IDs in our set. ID or account ID. So this will be executed whenever we change the parent of an opportunity record. But whenever we update amount of an opportunity record without changing its parent, then then this else will be executed. At last, only delete operation is left. In delete operation, we can't have new version of record. Therefore, we can't use trigger.new because after deletion of a record, new version of record does not exist. So we will use trigger.old here. But before that, let's apply a check that this code will be executed only on after deletion of an opportunity. Let's delete. Let's apply a null check over trigger dot old. Empty. Iterate over it. And if account ID is not equal to null, then we will store it in our set. Now we will get parent account ID on every operation in this set. Now we will write code to find sum of amount, but it should be executed only when this set contains a value. So apply a null check over it like this is empty. Now this is the main part of our trigger. See the easiest way by which we can find sum of amount of all opportunities is by using aggregate functions. Basically, aggregate functions are used to perform calculation like sum, min, max, average on a set of values and it will return a single value. So let's see how we can use it in our today's scenario. Let's take a list. Aggregate result. Select count IDs. Now we want to find sum of amount of all opportunities present on an account. So for that we will use some aggregate function. And inside brackets we will write the name of field on which we want to do our calculation. See here we have used ideas to access account IDs. And here by using this variable we can access sum of amount from opportunity where count ID in our set. There is another important point. We have to group account ID because we are not using any aggregate function with it. If we will not use it, then we will get an error that field must be grouped or aggregated. So to avoid error, let's make it grouped. Now let's apply a null check over this list. It's empty and iterate over it. New account now 
Now there is a different way to use aggregate results in our code. Here we need to access this account ID. So for that we have to give the data type of field first like this. Now copy this variable and paste it here dot get and here we have to give the variable name which we have used in our aggregated query which is IDS. Copy this paste it here. Now we will update the total OPP amount field. For that let's go to our org copy this name and paste it here. Again give data type of field and here the variable name which is total am. Now we will follow best practice to update account records. We will create a map and we will put these values inside it. For that let's create a map first. Map ID count copy this name and we will put these values inside this map. Apply a null check over this map is empty and update its values. Save it and deploy it to work. Okay, it is successfully deployed. Now it's time to check working of our trigger. For that, let's create a new account first. Test PP amount one. Let's create one more account. PP amount two. Now create an opportunity on it. Name it test OPP1 amount will be 500 and the stage name save it. Let's create one more opportunity and its amount will be 400 See, sum of total opportunity amount has come, which means our trigger is working fine for insert operation. Now let's delete an opportunity. Delete it. Now if our trigger is working fine, then the value should be 500 because there is only one opportunity present on this account and its amount is 500. So let's go to details which means our trigger is working fine for delete operation also. Now let's create one more opportunity. Its amount will be 1000. And update its amount 2000 to check whether our trigger is working fine for update operation also or not. Click on save, go to details, see our trigger is working fine for update operation also. But there is one more scenario left. Let's update its parent, test OPP amount 1. Now let's go to that account, go to details and 2000 which means we, our trigger is working fine for that scenario also in which we are updating parent account of an opportunity record. Now we need to check for undelete operation also. For that let's go to recycle bin and we will store this opportunity record. Go to accounts again. Go to details and amount has been updated which means it is working fine for undelete operation also. 
our trigger is working fine for every occasion, right? Wrong. There is still a mistake in our trigger. Let's see it. Let's delete this opportunity. Now let's delete this opportunity also. See, this field is still showing 1000. But now as no opportunity record is present, it should show zero. So to solve this problem, let's go to code again. And here we will use else part. In which we will iterate over this set. That is. See, this part will be executed if the list of aggregate result does not have any value and when there are no opportunities record present on an account. Let's give it ID. Copy this field and paste it here. Put this also in map. Basically, when we delete the last opportunity on an account, then the account ID will get into this set. But this list will not have any value as there is no opportunity present on that account. So we will iterate over this set and we will put zero in this field, which means if we delete the last opportunity, then the value of this field will get zero. Let's save it and deploy it. Now it's time to test it. For that, let's go to this account and delete this last opportunity refresh it go to details now this field is showing zero as there is no opportunity record present on this account which means our trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys if you have any scenario or suggestion for me i would love to hear feedback from you Thank you.